My name is Dwayne. Dwayne? Dwayne, yes. Nice to meet you. Um, tell me a little bit about your career and, and, and some of your fondest memories of hockey. Well, my career was just playing the greatest game in the world and a game that I still love as much as I ever did. But the only trouble is, as you get older, you can't play it anymore. <laughs> but it's, it's been a wonderful thing for me. And the state of Michigan has been a great state for me. Even with all of our financial problems, we'll dig ourselves out, start paying our bills, paying our taxes, and we'll be all right. Excellent. Now, how often have you been pretty much aware of the pond hockey tournament up here that they've had? And, and, and kind of what, what, what's your view on, on, on what they're doing up here in St. Ignace? Anything for hockey is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. For pond hockey, I do know that, I believe it was two years ago, that young Bill Ford was on one of the winning teams here. He plays, I can remember when I was playing with the Red Wings, he and his father, I knew his father very well, and they would come into the dressing room after a game. He was probably five, six years of age. So I got fond memories of him, and I was happy to hear that the, his team won the, I don't know which division it was, but they won, I think it was two years ago. I heard you talking a little bit in the interview that you're starting to see a lot of talent come out of Michigan, and I'm, you know, can you can you talk about that? Well, I use I use the state of Michigan or of Minnesota. They've had great high school hockey for 45, 50 years, and high school hockey in Michigan never really materialized because most of the time the athletic directors in the schools nobody knows anything about hockey, and hockey is a very expensive sport, but in the last five or six years, the kids, whether it's eco the economics of our state, a lot of the kids aren't playing travel hockey. These, I'm talking AAA hockey players. And now they're coming back to play for their high school. So consequently, this has elevated high school hockey tremendously in the state of Michigan. They have covered that 50 years, 45, 50 years, I was talking about Minnesota. I think they've covered 20 years of that and give it another 20 years, and they will be equal to Minnesota in high school hockey. It's just a great game. It's unfortunate that it's such an expensive game. So what is some of your fondest memories of, 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 of playing the game? I mean, you, you talk generally about some of the things that, that you, you just, it's the greatest game, but what's something that, that you just remember as standing out and is a highlight in your career? One, the wonderful thing about hockey, you're on a team. I don't care if you're 12 years of age, or you're 22 years of age, or you're 40 years of age. When you get on a team, when, it's not the greatest hockey player that will score a goal. You can be the left winger or right winger, and as long as you touch that puck when you go down the ice and you make a pass to a guy who's a good player, he scores a goal, it picks you up. Most sports, all the kids sit on the bench most of the time. Football, you got certain players, the coaches play them till they're dead. You know, and it's the same with basketball. If you're six foot eight, you're going to play basketball. If you're five foot eight, you're not going to play basketball. You know, baseball, same. It's talent. But in hockey, you go up and down the ice, and no matter whether you lack talent or not, you're going to get a chance to touch that puck, and you you contribute to the help of your team to win a game, tie a game, or even in losing, play a good game. You know, so that's the beautiful thing about hockey. Well, and I appreciate your time very Thank much. You very much. Thank you.